sisters and brothers loved by Jesus Christ. Where does our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Our help comes from Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We are heading into a Holy Week unlike any that I've ever experienced before. And I think a story from the prophet Jeremiah is fitting for our time. Jer Jeremiah ministered, lived at a time when the kingdom of Judah is crumbling all around him because of the advancing armies of Babylon. And, and Jeremiah himself has been imprisoned by King Zedekiah. Outside of Jerusalem, you can hear the army building siege ramps, the sound of hammers pounding and chisels shaping and, and the soldiers are boasting. And inside of Jerusalem, the kingdom is being torn apart as Zedekiah listens to lying prophets while locking up truth-telling prophets like Jeremiah. What a strange time then for Jeremiah to purchase a field. It's a field outside of the city walls under the control of Babylon, and so it's no good for growing barley or wheat, grapes or olives. And yet Jeremiah buys the field and he takes the deed and he places it in a, in a clay jar, which in those days were the equivalent of our safety deposit boxes. Why does he do this? Jeremiah buys the field and puts the deed in a clay jar as a deposit of hope. A deposit of hope that God's people will one day return and there will be again buying and selling of property, planting and harvesting of wheat, barley, grapes, and olives. The Apostle Paul, I think, I wonder, had the story of Jeremiah on his mind when he writes to the church in Corinth, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Paul says that we all have this deposit of hope within us. Listen to what he says. We have this treasure in jars of clay. The treasure that Paul is talking about is the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is our deposit of hope. Paul says we always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For months now, we've been hearing the rising numbers of infections and deaths from around the world, China and Iran, Italy, and even in our own country. And I feel cracks starting to form in me. But friends, our hope is in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. On Good Friday, Jesus makes a deposit that gives birth get to a new creation on Easter Sunday. And this is the deposit that we are holding on to, even if the world is crumbling around us. Now may the, may the peace of Christ go with you wherever you may be. May he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm. May he fill you with thanksgiving at the wonders he has shown you. And may he bring us all home rejoicing face to face once more.